Alright, so b Sun has been out for a couple of weeks now, and during that time, I've been playing around with the tower, and during this time, I noticed I wasn't enjoying myself using the Beast Handler, and I felt like the tower is a bit flawed. So what do I mean by flawed? Well, ignoring the many bugs Beast Handler has, design-wise, the tower is flawed for a few reasons. Number 1. Crosspathing is useless. There is very little reason to crosspath the tower. 250 is not any stronger than 050. This is the only tower that I'm aware of that this is the case where you don't really cross path it. Also, the lack of cross pathing makes it feel like three separate towers with one upgrade path, not one tower with three upgrade paths. Two, it's not a supporting tower. Beast Handler is in the support category, but the tower has almost no support. Sure, T-Rex has the stun, but why would you use that over Balloon Sabotage or Moab Blue? Yes, the support category in general is a bit weird because the towers in them aren't traditional support. Still, all towers in the category but Beast Handler can fill the role of support in one way or another. For example, let's take Spike Factory. Spike Balls can function as ceramic cleanup late game, Spike Storm can help out against around 100, and Perma Spike can act up as cleanup or be your main DPS. Engineer. Sensory Champion can function as main DPS, Overclock increases the attack speed of towers, and Bloom Trap generates income. And I don't think I need to explain farm or village. This leaves the Beast Handler with no support outside of mid path. I don't consider top path support since its main gimmick is mob damage and Big Bird straight up solos on most maps. Number 3. The biggest reason is that Beast Handler is a tower that insists upon itself. What I mean is that it has no synergy with other towers. So what ends up happening in my case is that I only use the Handler if I'm using it as my main DPS. The only strategy I can think of that I would use for Beast Handler is Papanaw and Sada since they both do extra damage to stun balloons, but that's it. One tower and one hero synergy, which isn't a lot. I find this point to be funny. Despite how broken some aspects of the Beast Handler is, other towers somehow outclass it. Overall, it's an all or nothing tower that is stupidly OP, but is outclassed by other towers. Towers like Apache Prime, Avatar Wrath, and Prince of Darkness, and many other are all or nothing towers. But, the difference is that Prime benefits greatly from external buffs like Overclock, Mib, and Jungle Drums. Avatar Wrath needs to fight Pop Lusts in order to be good. Prince of Darkness needs another tower to pop late game CMGs so it can clean up the rest of the balloons. Beast Handler doesn't have any of that as it does all that on its own. In conclusion, the Beast Handler is a cool tower design wise but is incredibly flawed. It's not fun to use in games due to limited synergy with other towers, and is straight up outclassed by other towers. And finally, it's just riddled with bugs. And it seems that I'm not alone on this. This Reddit post garnered over 2,000 upvotes, and a lot of everyone in the comments seems to kind of share the same or similar sentiment. Anyway, let me know what you think. I am curious to see what people think of the Beast Handler, and I am curious to see people who actually enjoy using the Beast Handler and just kind of figure out, well, why?